Well, good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday morning once again. It's the Tuesday before Christmas, and it's good to greet you this morning. It's a cold, damp morning, not as cold as it has been, but it's um, a joy for me to share with you this morning. Thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your day. Well, we looked at Mary and Joseph and their obedience and faithfulness to God. Remember the shepherds who came from the hills of Bethlehem. They left their flocks. The angels declared to them the good tidings of great joy that would be for all men. For all men, all men, all women, all the people of the world. Isn't it wonderful to know that that message is so relevant to us all today? There were three wise men who came from afar, we are told by Matthew. They are called the Magi. Who were they? We don't actually know exactly how many wise men came from the East, but we do know probably that it was more than three. We think it's three because there were three gifts that were given to the Lord Jesus in the manger bed, you remember, gold, frankincense and myrrh. They came, they were those who studied the stars diligently. They were from the Gentile world, another symbolic and, and wonderful truth of the Christmas message that the coming of the Messiah was for all of humankind. They studied the stars. They knew the Hebrew scriptures. They probably had studied them. They'd heard of the word and the prophecy of Isaiah that a, a child would be born. They had read the scriptures that a star would rise in the east. And they came and they knew about Bethlehem Ephrata, the place where the baby would be born. If they had studied the scriptures, but surely they had, they would have been aware of this already. But so they came, a star arose in the east, and they followed that star, that bright and shining star. It took them to the courts of Herod, of course. They anticipated possibly a king born, not in a manger bed, surely, not in Bethlehem. So they called in Jerusalem on the way. And Herod deceived them and said, Oh, come and, come and tell me when you find the king, and I will come and worship him too. That began his paranoia, which resulted in a terrible, terrible tragedy and the killing of all the baby boys. The reality is that these wise men came to Bethlehem from afar. Perhaps you feel distant and far away from God this morning. Perhaps there's something in your life that has caused you anxiety and pain and even sorrow. Come and see the baby in the manger bed. Come and see there the hope and the joy and peace that God offers you and me today. Remember that Jesus grew to the maturity of manhood. Remember that he lived among men. Remember that he healed the sick and he cheered the sad and he welcomed sinners unto himself. Remember that he raised Lazarus from the dead. To give us the eternal hope and joy that life is not for now but for eternity. Christmas is special because Christmas speaks about the incarnate God in the midst of men. The wise men came from afar and wise men and women still come to Bethlehem and find there the peace and the joy and the certainty that God is love. They came, they kneeled, they worshipped, they joined with the angels and the shepherds and they gave glory to the Christ who was born in Bethlehem. And do you know, dear friends, Matthew tells us that they left Bethlehem by a different route. They didn't want to confront Herod again. No, they had enough of him. They knew of his deceit, they knew of his arrogance and his pride and his paranoia. So what did they do? They went a different way. You and I can go from Bethlehem a different way from the way we came this Christmas. To know and see the child that is born there for you and for me. To celebrate the incarnation and the love of God. And to know that's a gift for you and for me. What can I bring him poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. What can I give him this Christmas? Give him my heart. May you know his peace. May Christmas be a time of great happiness and joy for you and your family. And may the Lord, the Lord of Christmas, bless you and keep you to each new tomorrow. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that the star led the wise men to Bethlehem. And there they beheld the baby in the crib. The fulfilment of all their longings, all their dreams, all their hopes. They met the Messiah, the promised one. May we meet with Jesus this Christmas whatever our need, to know his peace in our hearts and the joy that he gives to us all. May we too come in the knowledge that nothing can separate us from your love now. The wise men came, they gave their gifts, gold, frankincense, and silver. We bring our gifts of love, devotion, 
and, and, and the promise that we make, that we seek to, to follow you and trust in you to each new day. Lord, be with those who are unwell today, those who are bereaved, those for whom Christmas will be a, perhaps a time of sorrow and here I and longing. Comfort them in the assurance of your word and the joy that now Christ is here and all will be well. We pray for our troubled world and we long for peace in Ukraine, Lord. We pray for the end of hostilities there. Herod is lurking in the background there, Lord, as the oppressor comes upon people who have suffered for so long. Deliver them, we pray. And Lord, we pray as well for peace in every corner of the earth, that the Prince of Peace may reign. Hear our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Dear friends, it's been a joy to share with you today. You are welcome to join with us in Greenfield. We have a five o'clock can carols by candlelight service on Christmas Eve at five. And then on Christmas Day, we have a community service at 10 o'clock. And we have a short epilogue service for the close of Christmas Day at five o'clock. May the joy of Christmas be with us. And may the Lord bless you and keep you.